Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal, and in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about uh, one of my absolute favorite programs uh, for Ubuntu Linux. It's out there for Ubuntu, also for other Linux distros. It's a blue light um, temperature filter, so basically one of those programs that allows you to um, change the color temperature of your screen so that it's a lot easier to read and less fatiguing on your eyes. And it's also supposed to help uh, prevent you when you're using the computer and it disturbs your sleep because you're getting too much blue light which apparently as far as i understand science has confirmed this disrupts um the release of melatonin i i find it really works i actually use it not for the sleep reason because i try to not use my computer too late at night but actually for just the eye fatigue reason i find it much easier to work at a computer and read text when the color temperature is a little bit more towards red so it's called redshift now there's two two packages i recommend um if you're not using the latest ubuntu the latest ubuntu whatever desktop environment they're using i don't even know uh they have like a blue light filtering applet so i use something called lxde it's pretty it's a little bit old and not that well updated uh but for me that's why using this redshift gdk is invaluable because it allows me to control uh redshift from visually in some way it's kind of like a little gui one of the useful things about redshift you can see this little info window here is you can right click and see what your color temperature currently is uh so you can see it's enabled you can see my approximate uh, geolocation and you can see the color temperature i'm using currently 3600 kelvin for both daytime and nighttime sorry i think i'm using 30 36 and 34 and you can play around with this the best way to figure out what color temperature works for you is to uh, firstly turn off firstly don't install redshift and just go through the man page and play around with setting and resetting the uh, the color temperature so I'll just show you my configuration file the one I'm using it's very very simplistic uh, this is redshift.conf and when you install redshift gdk it's going to uh, by default read redshift.conf if it's in its default location which is your uh, username which in linux is represented by the tilde symbol forward slash dot config and you create a line uh, a, a file in there called redshift.conf exactly like that um you can see mine is just like one two three four five six whatever it's like 10 lines long and it just contains the really basic operating parameters you can find these in the man page um and my one is just like the bare essentials i have my daytime temperature set to 3600 kelvin i have my nighttime uh temperature set to 3400 kelvin and i also have the brightness and gamma set to 80 percent which is represented in decimals as 0.8 and a couple of these lines I just kind of copied and pasted from the example in the man page. The adjustment message is adjustment method is our render locations manual and the latitude and longitude to two decimal places is that's just about as exact as you need to be. You don't need to sort of pinpoint it to your house uh, once it's in your city. It should be accurate enough with regards to turning down the uh, color temperature to a lower value as nighttime falls over your locality. Um, so the man page can be found using the terminal or you can search redshift man and this is like the website and I'm just going to go through a few of these because as I said the best way to do this really um, is to sort of disable the uh, the GTK program and just like try this out for yourself so you can try some of these um, you can load it from a specific file um, or you can uh, just you can use the one shot mode is really useful for applying one-time uh one-time filtering so they, they give examples here um and this is a really really short man page here of how you can literally pass a command so what you can do is you can use red the, the easiest way to use redshift is to uh create a figure out what color temperature is good for you for daytime figure out where you want it at nighttime typically a few hundred kelvins lower and uh you don't need to pass these parameters these, these aren't standard parameters and put that in a conf file then install redshift gdk and it'll load these up all the time and the nice thing about the running redshift gdk is that info window that i had there you can verify that it is it is running and it's got your location and it's got your color temperature all this is coming from my conf file but if you just want to sort of give it a one-time uh go uh from the terminal you can do like this redshift minus l 
L stands for geolocation, 55.1, blah, blah, blah. Um, minus uh, T, and then you can put in this format, uh, which is daytime, then nighttime, minus G, and that's for your uh, gamma correction to apply. He's gone for 0 0.8 as well. And minus M for the method of changing, and minus V giving you a verbose output, and that is the man file. There's an additional uh, bit of information here in uh, about the parameters that can be placed into Redshift. This one's coming from the uh, Arch Linux man page. I don't know why it's probably somewhere in the first link, but um, I'm just using this one. So you have temp day equals integer, temp night equals integer, uh, fade, brightness day, brightness night, so you can configure separate brightness, gamma, adjustment methods, and location provider. And they give you an example here again. Uh, this is from uh, for Copenhagen in Denmark. So that's that's what this latitude and longitude will work out will work out to if you look at it in a map. And this is just kind of as simple as it can get. It's the same example we looked at previously. Redshift, temp day equals this, temp night equals this, gamma is this. Now, one thing to know about Redshift is that as far as I know, there's no way to uh, efficiently sort of kill the process, by which I mean, if you're using Redshift at GTK and you want to erase, uh, you know, stop the process and kill that process and then just use manual temperatures, uh, there isn't a way to do that. So sometimes the most efficient way of figuring what color temperature you want is uh, figure, you know, use that use that method first, then put in the, by that method first. I mean, before installing Redshift GDK, just install Redshift, then play around with this one shot mode uh, for do minus O and then uh, minus X to reset. Otherwise, you'd apply one one filter on top of the other. Um, then when you figured out your color temperature, create your conf file, use Redshift GDK. And occasionally if you want to make small changes, you can just update your conf file. For instance, uh, I recently went from 3,800 Kelvin to 3,600 Kelvin. It's not a big, um, change, but I've actually found that the more I use red light filtering, the more I sort of enjoy it. And, uh, even by daytime, I like this lower color temperature. I find it helps me read. And I personally like there to be a very small difference between uh, daytime and nighttime so that the difference uh, I'm just I get used to the same amount of uh, blue light filtering uh, whatever time of day it is. That's pretty much all I have to say about uh, Redshift. I do wish it was a little bit more advanced of a program and better maintained in the sense that like a full fledged GUI that allowed you to stop the program running and then, you know, put in a different color temperature would be useful, but for the moment, uh, this is what we have. And weirdly, from to the best of my knowledge, no one really has developed a better uh, GUI for blue light filtering um, on Ubuntu Linux and other Linux variants. So it's worth spending a little bit of time. This video is being recorded with a screen running Redshift, so you're gonna see a little bit of uh, color temperature application onto it. So I hope it can still be, uh, the information still comes across. Thanks for watching, I hope this was useful.